Coburn Bible, Book 5, Chapter 33, Speculation, Part 16. Old chapter might retell the myth of Osiris, Isis, Horus, Set, but the name for Isis doesn't match. M-A-N, 33, 18. God says to Osiris, Behold, the land before you, it is a chosen land for safeguarding the sacred mysteries. Out of its womb shall come the child of truth, which shall die and rise again to lead men in the struggle to glory. In the day of his rising, the earth will be distressed, and know it not, nor will it open its arms to the child, which will go unrecognized and even be despised and mocked. Yet in that day will be produced a salve to heal the scars of mankind. In that day, when men shall have forgotten the way of righteousness and turned from truth, the light will come unto them. These words were spoken by God. 33.18 Very reminiscent of the Exodus story, but this time none of the overtones of what we have in the Bible. Plus, it mentions, from the womb shall come the child of truth, which shall die and rise again. Ever consider that the reference to sacred mysteries could refer to your mind that holds the knowledge and not an actual shrine? The child could be about what you create with that knowledge and wisdom, an acknowledgement that over time, even the best of us cannot stop human behavior of a society from degenerating to the point that it destroys itself. And a reminder that even though things of earth will never last, the ideas will survive and rise from the ashes for another to try, learn from what happened, attempt to plan to keep humanity moving forward even though the flaw of arrogance, the willingness to discard God's gift for the false certainty offered by others, that lie better than you. Is there an answer to the puzzle, or is Earth a school that only teaches but will never be paradise?